Hi everyone, I'm Arier, and today we're going to be looking at Surrey Zuri Children Abridged, Episode 7 by Boltfish. This is this is a series best described as, you want the feels? You got the feels. Both the happy ones and the, oh my god, this is actually depressing. Like, literally, it's even more sad what they're doing in the abridged than the original, I've been told. Because I'll be honest, the original did not actually appeal to me until I started watching this abridged. Yeah. Bullfish has done a lot of different abridges here and there, and over the last couple years, I think, no, couple is accurate. It's crazy just how much he's advanced from just the, the very quick, basic edits, like just putting in an image, sometimes it don't fit. And now they're much more streamlined, things fit better, it looks more stylistically coherent, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how this episode goes, because, well, generally, it's a very solid, steady improvement, and... Zuri Zuri is always the series that has the most thought put into it out of his entire channel, and I'm looking forward to that, because one of the early episodes managed to reduce me to tears because it was accurate and sad and still fitting as an abridged. It basically pulled off a DBZA. It managed to make something compelling and yet still remain an abridged. I'm looking forward to seeing how they do that in episode seven. Will it be sad? I don't know. It might be hilarious. Or it might be enraging, because I know eventually they're going to get to the characters who really are pieces of work. Because I've been told they exist in this series, and I don't think they're going to pass on that, because, seriously, what a bridge passes on crazy characters that they can make crazier? <laughs> uh, no, I'm not doing that again. Uh, no. So yeah, you guys know the deal, though. Link below, original video. You've already hit up? Great! Because I didn't have to say it then, but you did it anyways, right? Good. I'm glad we had this talk. Why am I doing the creepy voice today? I don't know why I'm doing the creepy voice. <laughs> Let's get started. After all, as they say, all women are queens. Why does that sound this so is creepy? Very painful, as you can see. Ah, wow, 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 wow. Okay. Also, just a little aside, I love how they actually finally integrated that opening disclaimer. It made it look really nice. See this? I'm not sure why the Z and the U look so screwed up together. But I like how they're actually introducing the titles the that way. Like this. It looks I much more natural how that's it. integrated. Nice progression there, Bullfish. Kagi, why do you even bother with me? Call me sir. You know you like it. Why are we doing that? You know you like it. Uh, oh god, really? I couldn't hear you. Seriously? Oh yeah, he's the class president. She Seriously? She's Who like the rebel who is smoking a cop behind the school. Shut up. You like it. I'm being serious here. I need to study. Hmm. I have different plans. You're only dating me because of my body or what? Well, right now, that's a big reason why. So my personality means nothing? Well, how can it when we just met? Seriously? Accurate. You sound like an ass right now. He's kind of an ass. But you're pretty. Stop it! Oh, she's embarrassed. What if you found someone prettier than me? You would just jump to them, huh? It's possible. Oh, that is the wrong thing to say, dude. Why are you with me? I never said that I don't care about you. I care about what's on the inside. But it's something I I love how he's doing such a deep voice that it's actually resonating how he speaks. Not like I'm jealous or anything. You have something no other girl has ever gotten from me. Care? What is it? My interest. What does that mean? You're horrible from what I've seen. Oh! Say it yourself. I deserve better. Well, that's rude. Yeah. I hate when you say those things about yourself. Oh. Well, why even listen to me? Break up with me! There you go again, putting yourself down. You have a ton of issues, but... Stop it! Despite that, I like how they cut to the I've small smile. You. you just like my body, right? Also, I love how they're getting over the entire lip flap too. issue by mostly you just cutting the faces where they're not speaking. As much as their good side. But every now and again, they put I've a little one in there where they can make it match. Of yours. It's just a front, hiding the true beautiful you. You have my interest. I'm obsessed. If you're flattered, you can show it. I can't no tell if way. he's being kind or such a you're dick. So cute. I love or a bit of both. You. Also, it's positioning. Again. You don't want me to say you're cute, though? Tell me that, too. I'll tell you this, then. I adore who you are, Ryuko. Oh, God, that little surprised face is adorable. Things were getting really spicy with my boyfriend when his mom walked in and we did nothing. We felt very awkward since then. I wish yeah. Much more, but I can't expect it now when that just happened. I wonder how Are they really? he is about this, but 
Is he really? Oh, God, Boldfish, really? Don't get me wrong. I like the entire effect. But you're really doing the wop, 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 wop sound from the Peanuts? Showing that she's not listening to him and just monologuing in her head? I mean, on the one hand, that's actually kind of brilliant and I love it. On the other hand, oh, my God. It's just, it, it's so stupid. But I love it. And I, I kind of feel bad for loving it. Bringing it up X file. We're we gonna get sudden aliens here. The answer is out there. Had to be said. The She's not even listening. The green socks. Get, what? Green socks. Bang! Ow! I knew you weren't listening. Yeah. We got to practice our play for drama club, you know. Oh yeah. Why don't I play the interrogator? Uh, I didn't uh. read my lines. It's okay. Let's do it improv then. Is he coming under her? I care about the club right now. I think I'm he is. Right now. Hey, where's the fucking money, you bitch? What? Close your eyes, criminal scum. Do not resist. You let your What? Uh, I said not to resist. I didn't expect that. What was that? It was a little too low to hear. Oh. Good audio balance everywhere else, but that was just too low. <laughs> Not a very good interrogator, I see. Why is his assertiveness so awkward? Let me be an alien then. Is he gonna probe me? Uh, I'll try. <coughs> is he serious I'm right now? An alien. Get back, alien scum. Pew, 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 pew. Uh. Uh. If this is foreplay, it's very weird. Oh, just kiss her already, dude. You can even see his shaking. They make sure to add that little shiver Insane. effect. What the hell? That can't be it. Want to go to your place and try the scene again? Sure. Hey, little mom, okay, first off, Boldfish, that is actually a great advancement in just general bridging. The audio volumes, minus a few little effects, were just a little too low. But everything else was on a good level, so it was easy to understand and easy to hear. There was no sudden drops at all. It was, you know, good. The audio balance was good. The editing of effects, I loved little things that weren't as loud, but didn't need to be. Like, that little effect at the end where he's going to kiss her and he's shivering, but you add that little shiver sound effect in, and it's just quiet enough that you can barely hear it, but it's just loud enough that it doesn't need to be overwhelming. I like it. Sound effects at that level, that's more of a personal thing where the words are at a higher level, but the sound effects are lower. But I like that you add that in because it perfectly illustrates how he's basically freaking out there because that guy is uh, having seen a few episodes. Yeah, you're showing him as basically someone who's very nervous about having a relationship. He's really not into that one. Not saying he's no, maybe not into it, but uh, how to put it better. Uh, scared? He is very scared of being in a relationship, and it shows. Like, literally shows when he was shivering to go to kiss her, and she was like, right there, yeah. Honestly, at this point, she should just grab his head and kiss him. But that's just me. I like little sound effects, like the shiver effect. I like the wop wop sound when he was talking, and she was just completely just zoning him out. And I like the fact that you lampshaded it by saying so. I like how that's being treated. I like the integration of sound effects. I wish it was longer, but that's just because I was enjoying it. But this is perfect. It's exactly what you needed. And I might be a bit jealous of that first guy, whose name I still don't know. But... God damn, that guy's voice is so damn cool. I'm having jealousy over a fictional character's voice actor. Yeah... It's like, oh, I could sound really refined and cool like that. But you all know I'm BSing it because I, <laughs> no, 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 refined, no cool, no. Uh, I'm so freaking jealous. <laughs> Honestly, though, this was a very good step forward, Bullfish. If this is the general level of quality your a bridge is going to hit from here on out, great. This is exactly where you need to be. If everything hits this level of polish, that is perfect. And again, I just like little integration of sound effects. That's just, it was perfectly timed. It worked well. It didn't take away from the scene. It wasn't overwhelming. That was perfect. This was exactly what an abridged need to be. And 
I, this is not really about you, but oh my god, that first scene. Can anyone else say that if they just did a JoJo cut at any point during there, you would have followed it immediately by going, I think we all know where this is going. Because, like, literally she was straddling his head. And it didn't go the way we all thought it would. I'm a bit surprised. I'm even more surprised Bullfish didn't make the easy jump of, oh, by the way, yeah, it would that way. Probably because we're going to do more with them later, and that would just make it cheaper when the later story will go somewhere else. Would that be good or not? I don't know. But that's their choice, and either way, I'm kind of enjoying where it's going. I still can't tell if that guy's an asshole or really nice. I'm going with an honest asshole who's actually good for her, but also a massive asshole. Dickishness does seem to be his default setting. Let's go with that, yeah. So all the same, my basic criticism is this was good. This was exactly what you needed to do, and... It was enjoyable. So, yeah, I'm just quite happy with what we're doing here. This is good. So, for everyone else, if you haven't already, link below, original video. Make sure to hit it up, because this is good. And I love to see that he literally, this time, has it perfect. This is what an abridged needs to be. I'm glad, because, honestly, he's actually put out more than most abridged studios have, because, for some reason, I don't think he's gone after very popular ones with... Like the level of dickishness a lot of other bridge studios have, which has actually made it easier to, at least as far as I've seen, not have his channel shut down every five days by new baseless copyright strikes. It's a thing. On the other hand, it also means that he's going after shows that I had barely heard of. I didn't know what Suri Suri Children was before this, and I'm pretty sure I had watched Anime America skit where they had talked about this show. And then it was so unnotable in that skit, I forgot about it. And now I remember that because I even remember watching it out. I had blocked that memory from my mind. And now I've seen it again. It's like, oh yeah, I know what that is. I kind of want to watch it. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> so yeah, all the same, everyone. Link below. I'm glad you already hit up because you did. Which we all know you did. Because I asked earlier. You did. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know why I'm doing the creepy voice today. I, d I don't know why. What the hell? <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next. Adios. Thank you.